The Reds seem unworried about that opening setback as they take batting practice. Happy Warriors warming up for the second game are Elston Howard, who hit a homer in the opener, Bill Scarron, who also homered, and Boyer, the defensive magician. Warren Giles, National League president, radiates faith in the Reds. Joey Jay, Cincinnati's starting pitcher, talks it over with manager Hutchinson. It's a beautiful fall day, and the fans again are out early. Jay, now warming up, burst into stardom with 21 victories this year. Ralph Terry, 16-3 for the season, will start for New York. And a million-year capacity crowd awaits the first pitch. Helio Chacon lets a long fly ball to left field. Yogi Berra runs over near the running track and makes the catch. With one out in the Cincinnati fourth, Terry pitches to Frank Robinson. There's a twisting hopper. It caroms off Boyer's glove, and the young third baseman has trouble recovering it. Robinson is safe at first. Gordy Coleman at bat takes Terry's first pitch for a strike. Again, Terry delivers, but this time Coleman really levels. There's a terrific shot deep to right center. It's going, going, it is gone. A solid home run of more than 400 feet. Robinson scores ahead of Coleman and has both returned to a jubilant Cincinnati dugout. The Reds have taken a 2 to nothing lead. In the Yankee fourth, Roger Maris draws a walk. And for Jay, that brings up the problem of Yogi Berra. There's a drive to deep right field. It's going, going, it is gone. Well back into the seats for a home run. Maris drops in ahead of Yogi, and within a matter of minutes, the game is tied again at 2-2. Two -two. It was Berra's 12th series home run. With two out in the red spit, Chacon hits a looping fly ball to center that drops in there for a base hit. Ralph Terry now faces Eddie Casco. Eddie slams a base hit through the middle. Maris charges the ball, cuts loose with a tremendous throw to third base, trying to flag down the speedy Chacon, but he's in there safely. Now a crucial play. With Pinson at bat, a pitch gets away from Howard for a short pass ball, and Chacon suddenly storms home, and he's safe. Umpire Jocko Conlon calls the play. And now after they get untangled, let's take another look at this vital play. Chacon takes a long, leaping slide, and Howard just doesn't quite make it. And the Reds lead 3-2 to two on Chacon's aggressive running. In the Yankee fifth, Leap Boyer at bat draws a walk. And after one man has been retired, Bobby Richardson is at the plate. He grounds to short. Casco attempts to start a double play by tossing the ball to Chacon, but Boyer beats the throw to the bag. Boyer is called safe at second. And Chacon's throw to first is wild. Manager Hutchinson questions umpire Donatelli very briefly on the play and soon heads back to the bench. Joey Jay doesn't let the situation disturb him, though. He strikes out Tony Kubek. Roger Maris is now at bat. One swing could ruin Joey, but he strikes out Maris, and Rod walks off in disgust. In the Cincinnati sixth inning, Frank Robinson slams another hot shot into the third base sector, but the Yankee Gibraltar is there again. Watch. Boyer makes a sensational backhanded stab near the line. Leaps to his feet for the throw to first base. 
And another frustrated red is out on an unbelievable play. Wally Post manages to circumvent Boyer here. He gets the ball up high enough so that it sails down the left field line for an extra base hit. Barra runs it down, and Post trots easily into second base for the double. Gene Freese has walked intentionally with two out. The Yankees preferring to pitch to John Edwards. But Edwards, who hit a 186 during the season, upsets the strategy by driving a base hit to right field. Wally Post scores, and Cincinnati leads 4-2. to two. Luis Arroyo, ace Yankee pitcher, relieves in the eighth inning and walks Robinson to start the inning. Arroyo now faces Gordy Coleman. Coleman taps a little dribbler to the left of the mound. Arroyo moves over to field the ball. Coleman beats it for a hit, and Arroyo's wild throw sails down the right field line. Blanchard finally retrieves it, and since Robinson already is scoring, tries to nail Coleman digging for third. A beautiful throw. Boyer slaps the ball of the big first baseman for the out. Pitches to post, and Wally hits a hard sinking liner straight at Yogi Berra in left field. Watch. Oops, it goes right through his mitts for an error, and Yogi has to run it down while Post rambles on to third base. For the second time in the game, Freeze is purposely passed to get at Edwards. But this time, the Cincinnati catcher lifts a little pop fly over Boyer's head, and again, the strategy explodes. It's a double scoring post, and the Reds pull away 6-2. to two. Howard leads off for the Yankees in the ninth inning, and he's out for interference when his bat hits the ball a second time. Howard argues about it, and manager Hawk comes out to protest. But umpire Conlon prevails as he cites the rule. Jay strikes out Bill Scarron. And the Yankees, with just one out left, have Cleet Boyer back. And Boyer draws a walk to keep their hopes alive in the last of the ninth. Ralph Hawk sends up Billy Gardner to bat for Arroyo. Gardner lines to Casco, and the Reds triumph 6 to 2. It was a superb full hit performance by Jay. Other key factors were Coleman's homer and the alert base running of Chacon. It ties the series at one victory each, and the scene now shifts to Cincinnati. 